What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dap Central. My name is Farid, and in today's video, I want to break down the very first temperature check being released by the Intersect MBO or Cardano's member based organization. Now, in preparation of SIP number 1694, in which we're going to see governance shift over into the Cardano community's hands. We're now going to be getting prepared again through the Intersect MBO and this upcoming SIP. So first things first, let's jump straight on over into the official Intersect website. This is available at intersectmbo.org. So it reads, Intersect is a member-based organization for the Cardano ecosystem or the Cardano community, putting the community at the center of Cardano's development. Scrolling down just a little bit, we've got some of the many members who have already signed up to become a part of the MBO. So that includes Spectrum Labs, Gimbal Labs, Liquid, M Labs, Clarity, Mahen, the Eternal Team, and Maker, WADA, and Dynamic Strategies, to name a few. Now, you don't necessarily have to be a project in order to join the MBO. I myself have actually signed up in order to participate in governance moving forward when it comes to Cardano. Now, they've got a full roadmap listed on the website here, which I'll take a look at in just a second. And they've also got quite a bit of articles here listed on the website, breaking down the Sancho Net, the Cardano open source strategy, and then everything else that you need to know surrounding SIP number 1694. Jumping over into the roadmap, it is quite lengthy, so I won't be able to dive into it all now, but I want to quickly jump into the next topic here, which is going to be surrounding the first ever temperature check vote that was just announced earlier today. So if I jump over to the official website, I'll leave this down below in the video description. We're going to have a Cardano ballot regarding how quickly we want to see things rolled out with respect to SIP number 1694. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and connect my wallet. I'm going to select NAMI here, and I'm going to preview today's question. So it states, based on the current progress, again, with respect to SIP number 1694, should we as a Cardano community continue to develop and deploy an MVP or minimum viable product for on-chain governance as described in SIP number 1694, subject to final approval of the SPOs or stake pool operators? The three different options include yes, no, or abstain. Now, I'm going to break down everything with respect to the actual voting process, and then I want to touch on the community's feedback, given the fact that this was just released earlier today. So jumping over into Twitter, I'll leave the link to this down below as well. We can see that beginning on November 20th, that will be the last day for users to stake their ADA to an SPO in order to have the ADA staked be usable once the snapshot is taken in terms of voting. Now, the snapshot will be taken on the following day, on the 21st of November, right before 2100 UTC. And then following that, we're going to see the ballot open up for voting. Again, either voting yes, no, or abstaining. And that will take place on December 1st. Now, following that, the ballot will close 10 or 11 days later. So on the 11th of December, and then we'll have the available results displayed on the 16th of December. So a few things to note, this is labeled as a temperature check. However, there is some concern from the community given a recent vote, which I believe was surrounding the parameters for stake pool operators. Again, that was touching on the min pool cost as well as the K parameter or the saturation parameter. And that was actually done on chain. Now, this was announced as a temperature check, but following the actual poll, we did see the, I believe it's the Cardano Foundation, taking that particular answer from the community and actually trying to implement changes following that. So it seemed to maybe have gotten lost in translation as to how the temperature check data would be used. But people are kind of weary at this point about this particular temperature check, given what happened with the last on-chain vote. So that is the very first thing I want to mention. Now, in terms of additional concerns that have come up from the community, it seems to be 
that the hardware wallets are not able to be used in order to actually vote for this. So if I jump back over into the official website and I go ahead and actually connect my wallet, let me share this here with you guys. We've got the Eternal Wallet. We've also got support for Lace, Nami, and NuFi. And if I jump back here, there's also additional support for Typhon, Uroi, Jira Wallet, and the Flint Wallet as well. Now, as you guys just saw there, no mention of any hardware wallet. So if you hold your ADA, for example, on something like a Ledger or a Treasure, um, you will not be able to utilize that in order to actually vote. So that was another piece of feedback that really came in from the community that we should be number one, clarifying whether or not this is truly a temperature check and whether or not the actual answers here will matter. And then number two, potentially actually wait until there's hardware support for voting before the temperature check is actually taken. So both I think are valid given prior experiences, and the fact that we've also seen on-chain voting through other protocols or through other platforms, for example, like Sunday Swap, which does allow voting with ADA stuck on a hardware wallet. So that said, that will bring me to the end here for today's video. I'll go ahead and leave the link to the official Intersect MBO if you want to sign up and become a part of this growing community. I'll also go ahead and leave the link down below to the official ballot in preparation of the voting season that'll kick off on December 1st. If you are not already staking your ADA or delegating to an SPO, then definitely make sure to go ahead and do so in the meantime time. Now, with that said, let me know what you guys think down below. Should this team be waiting for hardware wallet support? And should they also clarify exactly how the choices that will be voted upon will actually be used following the close and the results being announced to the broader Cardano community? As always, if you guys found today's video to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape or form, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by DAP Central and you want more content like this surrounding Cardano and governance, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding anything going on in the growing Cardano ecosystem, then please make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.